I came from UNC Wilmington is where I went to school down in North Carolina. I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. And honestly, I was in a job I wasn't really happy with. And I saw an internship up here at, at Towson. I was just trying to break into the athletic field in any way I could. And it was an internship kind of working with basketball, all, all sports that we have here at Towson. And it kind of ended up turning in, into something bigger, which I didn't really expect. And it, it was great. It was really cool to be a part of such a, a great experience and great season for the football team especially and I'm glad that I had the privilege to, to work with them. My position here is the football video coordinator so what I do I pretty much you know keep in contact with the coaches get the film from other schools our upcoming opponents throughout the season um, during playoff time it becomes a little bit trickier but during the season since you know who you're gonna play and with our conference it's all open exchange so I can grab whatever film I need for the coaches for upcoming weeks I give it to them and they break it down. Mark handles a variety of aspects on a daily basis. Um, input of film for every practice, uh, organizing these students who film the practices. Uh, when I give him our scheduling needs, he handles that with all of them. Uh, he'll, he'll take the input of other films of other games for our upcoming opponents, download that film, share our film with, uh, with the other opponents. Uh, works on a highlight for us that we show pregame every week. That's something that I think he really excels at does a great job and uh, lastly you know travels with us goes everywhere we go and does a great job setting up the the pregame meetings that our coaches have with the players now as far as the pump up videos that, that Mark makes for the team how do you think those play uh, a factor do you think that the players really feed off that yeah our, our guys love it we used to do it the night before uh, since Mark got here and, and spiced them up a bit uh, we've done it in the locker room right before games so we'll show the highlight then coach will talk and I think it you know, gets them in a good mindset, maybe some highlights from the week before, maybe a message that, that Mark and Coach work on, you know, for that game. But whatever it may be, uh, you know, it always seems to hype them up a bit. Well, where those came from was uh, I got a text from Rob Ambrose about 11.30 at night when I was at a bar, and he was just saying, we need to get something together to get these guys hyped for our uh, black and gold scrimmage. And I texted him back, you mean like Al Pacino's speech in, in um, any given Sunday? And he was like, and then he texted me back a quote from that speech. And so we are on the same page from that point, you know. And, and I started off doing just, you know, some movie quotes, pulling from 300, um, Invincible, those kinds of things, just inspirational movies. The inches we need are everywhere around us. Get them nothing, but take from them everything. And it really turned into to something almost bigger in, in every, you know, game. It, was a personal goal of mine to make it better than the last one and really give the guys something to go out to the field to and, and make it really fun. Uh, we got a new video system this year, which he excelled at. You know, he knew nothing about, learned over the summer very quickly, the end of July, um, that we put in place with DV Sport, and, and he learned that very quickly and got our guys up to speed on it. Uh, so, so Mark did an excellent job in his first year getting thrown in the fire. At UNC Wilmington, I, I studied film. I did film studies and I did marketing. So, you know, a little bit here and there. It's not as in depth. Um, it, it definitely gave me the exposure to some of the tools we use, like Final Cut Pro, and those are what I use to edit the, the pump up videos. And then, but m I mean, more or less, the s editing software that I use for the team footage, I, I learned that in June. I, you know, it got installed in June, and it was like, here's here's how it works you know go to town and it was really me working with some of the the grad um, the graduate assistants we kind of figured things out as we went along and you know there's a lot of phone calls being made to some support staff and whatnot but it was really great and I, I think that's almost how you learn better is just diving in going for it and get your hands dirty I do have some students um, that help me out especially during practice we, you know we'll have like I said we have four cameras running I operate one of those cameras and then we have two end zones so we need two students and then one sideline and 
one person to be running tapes in, and then um, a, another student's down here editing, and he, he's been the same one throughout, and he's really gotten great. His name's Garrett Lowing, and um, he's down here cutting up the film, posting it to the to you know the server. So when the coaches come off the practice field, it's already up. They can see probably roughly three fourths of the practice. Then I'll come down here, finish things up, and you know we'll get going. So. Um, and I also have, I, I take on the road, his name is ben, ben Nash. He does my end zone and he's a daredevil and he is up in lifts and it's Rhode Island, it's windy, it's cold and the lift is doing this, he's, but he's staying up there like a champ so he's been really great on the road for me. Working for Mark, uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I've had a, a lot of bosses in my time and uh, he's probably the best one I've had. I can honestly say that. I think it's the fact that he's so young that uh, you can really relate to him. You know, you've had bo I've had a bosses before who are you know in their 40s, 50s, and you, you just can't relate to him. And then I spend so much time with Mark. You know, on the road, we share a room together. Um, and it, it's come down to the factor that we, we've we've become friends. Now, overall, how would you rate Mark's job that he did here that, during his first season as the video coordinator? I think Mark did great. You know, in in my role. Uh, where it is to get the information out to everybody and our support staff. We had a new video coordinator, a new athletic trainer for football, and uh, uh, our strength coach was the same, but our new equipment guy too. So our support staff was all new. It was great how everyone pulled together. You know, Mark especially jumped in in the spring and, and really uh, took charge. In the beginning, I didn't know that this was his first year. Uh, I came in and interviewed with him um, down to earth. I just thought he was the assistant guy. I had no idea he was going to be my boss. So, you know, after a few practices, uh, you know, I found out that this is his first year and, you know, it, it was, it was eye-opening. During the season, like I said, it's kind of an eye-opening thing to me. I didn't expect it to be as much of a grind as, it, as it's turned out to be, but it's almost, like, it's, it's almost like working out. You know, you do it, you do it, you do it, and then you get to, your body almost craves it. So now when I'm, you know, it is the off-season and, and it's downtime, it's a little harder to kind of cope with, with what to do with that. And it is kind of weird not having, you know, the constant 2.30, get ready for practice. You know, it, it dictates the rest of your day of, of around football. And now you don't really have that. So it opens up a, a couple different opportunities to, to fill your time with. So it's, it's good and it's bad. He, he works his tail off. You know, it, whenever I come in here, he's always working. He's always doing something. Uh, it's very rare that you see him not doing something pertaining to the job. This has really given me a cool window into seeing the world of college, college football and, and how much of a grind it really is and how much these guys have the passion and caring into, into their jobs and just, it, there's no time, there's no downtime during the season. And even the off season, I'm sure if you ask any of these coaches, it's, you know, it's a constant um, motion and, and getting ready for the next season. So that's really great. I, I think Keeping busy is, is one of those harder things to do, but with this job, it's, it's incredibly easy. There's always something you know, for the next day and then the next day. Great moments are born from great opportunity. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Who am I? I'm a champion. We can stay here, get the shit kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back. Who am I? I'm a champion. This is where we fight. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. Who am I? I'm a champion! They're bigger, faster, stronger, more experienced, and on paper, they're just better. We're gonna change the way we run. We're gonna change the way we eat. We're gonna change the way we box. We're gonna change the way we tackle. We're gonna change the way we win. The inches we need are everywhere around us. Give them nothing, but take from them everything. Who am I? I'm a champion. One half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. You've shown this coaching staff 
your teammates. You have shown yourselves just exactly who you are in here. We stay with them. And we shut them down because we can. This is where we hold them. Who am I? I'm the champion. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's going to make the fucking difference between winning and losing. Now, they've been here before, so they're not going to give it to us. We got to go out there and we got to take it, right? Take it. Who am I? I'm the champion. Are you not entertained? It ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. This is your time. Who am I? I'm the champion. I don't want them to gain another yard. You blitz all night. You gotta look at the guy next to you. Look into his eyes. Now I think you're gonna see a guy who will go that inch with you. This is your time. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits. You understand me? How you play today, from this moment on, is how you will be remembered. Now go out there and take it. Who am I? I am the champion. Who am I? I am the champion. Who am I?